Wireframes can't be made in 37 seconds, except now they can. Exactly how is this possible? It's using that magical word that we all know and love now, AI. Let me take a few steps back here. We're gonna be looking at Reloom. All you really have to do is imagine a website and now generate it. Surely it can't be that easy. I'm gonna take a look. There are some big promises here, like I'll have a sitemap in just seconds. But the real question is, do people actually use sitemaps in 2023? Hmm, you can export to Figma? Well, I liked Figma until it was bought by Adobe. Still, this shuffle design where I can swap out components, that looks pretty cool. Okay, Reloom library, I'm interested in your algorithm. Show me what you've got. Your first promise here is that it's the fastest way to design and build a website. Let me test this out. Very nice onboarding, but I don't wanna watch this video. I'll just hit skip. Oh, I like that I'm immediately in the dashboard. Here, I can generate my first sitemap. I think five to 10 pages should be enough for a website. I guess before we have a wireframe, we need a sitemap. That kind of makes sense. This is tough. I need a description for a website. Hmm, I think I'll use a website about YouTube analytics. Now time to cross my fingers and see what Generate produces. Reloom starts building the sitemap out in real time right in front of me. It starts building out the homepage with all the sections like the hero, feature, stats, call to action, and contact. So should I continue and generate more pages? All right, let's select that. Oh, cheeky. Reloom wants me to create an account to do more. Actually, that's kind of smart. It means that I get to test the system out before I have to have an account for it. All right, Reloom, I'm intrigued. I'll create an account with you guys. And I'm back. I can see that the other pages are now being populated. The About Us has a layout. The Feature page has a layout. There is even a blog page. Do people even use blogs in 2023? Overall, this is quite a lot of content and it's only been one minute. And I'm pretty sure if I had to design my own sitemap from the ground up manually like a human, then it would take me more than that. It would take me a few hours at least. Let me take a closer look at these actual sections. So here I've got a homepage. It has a hero, a feature, a feature list, testimonials, stats, how it works section, call to action, and a few others. The other pages are defined quite well too, like the About Us page, which includes a team, awards, and much more. With so many pages, let me see if I can turn this now into a wireframe, the goal of this entire video. At the top of the page, there is a button for wireframe. Selecting it immediately starts generating the wireframe for the home page. I didn't even get a chance to start my stopwatch. And I wanna see if this takes less than a minute. Looks like the header has already been created. The navigation is building out as we speak. Keep in mind what you're seeing right now is in real time. I'm not adding any type of speed ramping to this video. I must say, this is a pretty good looking drop down menu with legitimate looking titles and descriptions for pages. I went back and counted and it took 37 seconds to generate this wireframe. Don't get me wrong, I'm not jealous. I know I couldn't replicate this kind of speed on my best day. But what I really like is that this is a starting point, something I could take to a client, especially as a proof of concept and then iterate through it to see how it can be custom. Customized. Wait one second, where are my other pages? Ah, Reloom, you tease with this nice looking wireframe and to unlock more, you need me to sign up to your pro plan? And you even have a free trial for seven days? Fine, take my money. I want to see just what you're capable of. And I must say, I'm impressed. There's nothing quite like the satisfaction of watching this happen right in front of you as you've put in only a sentence to describe what kind of website you want. Even this pricing table. I only wanted something that gives me YouTube analytics for a website, yet I've got this well-defined pricing table of all the types of features I could actually include as part of an MVP for a website idea just like this. All right. Let's take this to the next step. I've got these nice looking wireframes, even this sitemap, but what can I actually do with it? I want to copy it into Figma. It looks like I need a special Figma plugin to be able to do this, but it should be easy to install. I'll simply open up the Reloom library in Figma. This plugin looks pretty simple. I only have to log in and here's my YouTube API platform design. I'll select to add the wireframe to Figma and it's adding right now. I'm a little bit worried. It looks like a little bit of a mess. I hope this plugin hasn't crashed because it's going a little bit funny on me. Or maybe I spoke too soon. And maybe there's some method to this madness. Because what I earlier saw on Reloom now seems to have converted itself over to Figma. Additionally, I don't have just all the pages now, I've got their mobile responsive versions as well. If I go back to Reloom to double check that these actually look accurate, I can see that the pages are a one-to-one -one replica. Yes, the menu here for the dropdown is always visible, but this is the exact same layout. Now, if you're building wireframes, the words you're 
write for the content is of utmost importance, since for clients, they will be heavily scrutinized. This is where today's sponsor, Grammarly, can help. I've been using Grammarly for years, and while their regular plan is excellent, their business version for Teams has a few features that help build on-brand content better and faster. It comes with a style guide feature. This ensures you don't accidentally mistype the company title or even company-specific phrases. Even if I pass off my wireframe to a colleague and they continue the content and design, and they've never met anyone from the client company, they can still use the style guide benefits through Grammarly. Brand tones are another feature in the business plan. This can help you ensure that the content on the website comes across with tones you can specifically set like friendly and professional. These help create a consistent level of content that stays on brand across all pages. You can sign up for a free trial and test Grammarly business at grammarly.com forward slash codex 12, which I've also added in the description below. Now that I've got this in Figma, I can do a lot. For example, I could select one of these sections and I can view this inside of Visual Studio Code and I could even turn this into a React component. So far, I think Reloom has a lot of potential. I'm going to have a look at what else it can do. Here's a component section, but what's interesting is that every type of component I can imagine is here. If I wanted to create a feature section, there's 425 components to choose from. So while AI is interesting, just being able to have a different variety of designs for a feature section is just as useful. Of course, sometimes I like to build my own designs in Figma. Here, there's a Figma kit that is available. I can open this up and use the library that Reloom provides inside of my own Figma template. I think this is my preference. I like to make my designs myself. It gives me a little bit of passion to be able to put something together. And I think one of the biggest strengths that Reloom has is just the vast majority of different types of designs and options you have when building out a website design. So yes, the fact that AI can now generate sitemaps and wireframes is pretty cool. And soon I'm sure it'll be building the entire website out from start to end. And if that's the case, what on earth am I going to make videos about? But since we're not quite there yet, what I'm going to do is see if I can remake this wireframe into an actual website. I'll use Wix Studio. This will probably be the fastest way that I can actually rebuild these wireframes. First, I'll add the full screen image, uploading the placeholder image used in the Reloom library. Then I'll duplicate this full image to the section below, leaving one section in between. I'll jump into Figma to have a look at the reference content. I want to copy out this block of text and then place it on a section here, which has a column on the left hand side. I'll select it to drag a title in and paste in the content here. Then I'll dock it centered and aligned here a little bit to the left. I need to add this paragraph on the right hand column. So I'll copy the text and this time I'll select to drag in a paragraph section. I'll resize it. Then I'll head over to Figma and double check the design here for the two buttons. I want to create the learn more button. So I'll drag it here in place and it's already designed accurately. So all I have to do is change the text here from start now to learn more. I can also create the sign up button. I'll copy over the same button, but this time what I'll do is change the background of the button to be white with the text being black and I'll add a black border around it. I'm going to resize this section. The left side title updates its position accordingly, but the right side I'm going to turn into a stack and then dock in the center as well. Now, let me see how this wireframe compares to the figment design. Yeah, I think that's a pretty good job. I found Reloom pretty cool. I think I'll be using it in the future to create website wireframes.